These are 30 Minecraft Easter eggs. The Monty Python reference. One of Minecraft's most popular secret mobs is that of the Killer Bunny, and as it turns out, this secret rabbit was originally named the Killer Rabbit of Kerbinog. If you wonder why it's called that, it's because this mob is based on a pretty ruthless rabbit from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. In the movie, this thing literally takes out an entire group of knights, and it's both hilarious and extremely menacing. <laughs> If you see the killer bunny in Minecraft itself, you might want to run, but the jokes keep coming with the April Fool's villager skins. On April Fool's Day in 2014, Mojang decided to prank the entire Minecraft community. Instead of changing features or messing around with the game itself, they single-handedly made everyone a villager. If you logged in that day, your skin was changed whether you liked it or not. It was a pretty funny gag and showed how much Mojang loves to joke around, but they also love to make nods at other games, so let's show off video game achievement Easter eggs. Minecraft has had a ton of Easter eggs in the past referencing other games, and you can find a ton in the game's achievements. One achievement is called The Lie, and you get it for crafting a cake, and of course this is a reference to Portal's famous The Cake is a Lie phrase. Other achievements include On a Rail, which references Half-Life Chapter 8, and the Do a Barrel Roll achievement, which is obviously a nod to Star Fox. But instead of just achievements, we also have other cooler Easter eggs with the Dead Mouse skin. We've all heard of the DJ Deadmau5, but it looks like Minecraft took the name to the next level. If you own the Minecraft username Deadmau5, you actually get an exclusive Easter egg. Your character receives special blue mouse ears to fit his iconic helmet. Now, of course, the only person who actually owns this username is the man himself, but you can still access these ears through a mod. But something we all have, though, is the Easter egg about Scottish Steve and Swedish Alex. So in the Bedrock and Legacy console editions of Minecraft, the default skin packs include two outfits called Scottish Steve and Swedish Alex. Of course, these are Easter eggs referencing both 4J Studios, who is Scottish, and Mojang, who are Swedish. These two are even playable in Smash Bros, but next up we have Named Mobs. So we all know about the Dinner Bone Easter Egg, but there are a few other named mobs that give you cool secrets. For example, if you name a rabbit Toast, their skin pattern is the same as a real life bunny that went missing. If a Vindicator is named Johnny, it attacks any nearby mobs, and this is a reference to The Shining. Here's Johnny. Then if you name a sheep Jeb after the developer, it will turn into a rainbow. This one is extremely popular, but not many people know about the Leather Boots Easter Egg. If you go fishing in Minecraft, then there's actually a chance that you could find a pair of leather boots in the water. Any Zelda fan would actually recognize this as a reference to Twilight Princess, where you can do pretty much the same exact thing. But the Nintendo nods don't stop there though with the Elytra Wings. One of the coolest items in the game are the Elytra Wings, but the way these work is even cooler. If you've played Super Mario 64, you might recognize the way these work. In that game, you could wear a wing cap, and if you put the two side by side, you could already see what Mojang are referencing. But Minecraft's OG Easter Eggs comes in with splash references. One of Minecraft's very first and longest running Easter Eggs is the text on the main menu. There are way too many to cover nowadays, but there are some notable splashes that have cool secrets. One splash says Missing No, which is an Easter Egg from the older Pokemon game. A very famous glitch existed in Red and Blue where you could surf on some water repeatedly and it has a chance of spawning a glitch Pokemon. This Pokemon was named Missing No and it was actually just you fighting a creature that simply doesn't exist. It's very popular in the community and clearly Mojang are fans of it too. Another splash exists which appears for everyone on June 1st and it is simply a birthday wish for Notch, the creator of Minecraft. That's definitely one way to remind everyone it's your birthday, but more recently though Mojang have taken a good use of the splash messages with some new ones saying wash your hands and support elder relatives and friends. Of course, that's obviously because of the events happening in the world right now, but these messages are probably going to stay in the game long after it's all over. While these splash messages are awesome easter eggs, there is one that players will never see on their menu, not even once. That is, unless you go looking for it. In the files, if you view all the splashes, you could actually find one which doesn't appear in game. And as you probably expect, there's a reason it doesn't appear, because that's the whole point. The splash says this message will never appear on the splash screen. Isn't that weird? I would agree, it is kind of weird, although this did appear for a small amount of time on the Legacy Console editions due to a glitch. So if you saw it, you're extremely lucky and also Mojang, you liars. <laughs> but moving on, we have the Christmas chess Easter egg. If you play Minecraft during the holiday season, you might have actually noticed a small change to the game, which only happens that time of the year. Mojang actually changed every single chess in the game every year to have a Christmas theme. It's simple, but a very neat addition. If you're into less jolly holidays, though, here's the pumpkin heads Easter egg. They don't just celebrate the holidays, however, because Mojang also tend to get themselves into a spooky mood every year. 
On Halloween, zombies and skeletons actually have the ability to spawn with pumpkin heads. And if you think this is just a novelty, it's actually even scarier when you think about it. Because these guys spawn with pumpkin heads on, they don't burn when the sun comes up. Talk about making Halloween scarier, huh? But now here's the locked chest Easter egg. People who played Minecraft a couple years back will remember one of the most famous April Fool's jokes to date. Mojang added lock chests around people's games and led them to a fake marketplace to buy keys to open it. It was genius. But it wasn't the only one with April Fool's Minecraft's versions. Okay, there have been a ton of other April Fool's jokes over the years, and they have all been better than the last. In 2019, Mojang released a fake game called Minecraft 3D. They claimed it was a lost build of the game from 1994, but if you played it, you'd know that it was clearly anything but that. It looked like a reference to older games like Doom and Quake with old graphics effects, a new UI, and much more. It was an awesome free game, and you can still download it to this day, and if we're talking about retro tech, we have to talk about this year's April Fool's joke. Mojang actually kept it up this year and released something called Minecraft Minecraft Plus. You could either download it or play it in a browser, but this was a reference to the older generation of PCs, especially those using Windows XP. Instead of a game, this was mostly a fake screensaver software, which would actually give you all kinds of Minecraft themed screensavers. A lot of them look like they were ripped straight out of the early 2000s, and I gotta admit, they're pretty awesome. But if we're talking about fake games, nine years ago, Notch revealed a brand new game he had been working on for April Fool's Day. It was called Mars Effect and looked to be Minecraft's successor. It was sci-fi themed, had its own website, and and people got very excited about it. Now, obviously the name was a parody of Mass Effect and with everything happening on April 1st, people quickly realized it was a joke, except it actually wasn't that fake. This was the first tease for a game Notch was working on, which was eventually canceled in 2013. And if we're on the topic of April Fool's jokes turned real, we only have to look at last year. Mojang actually released a fake Minecraft snapshot version for April 1st, 2020, and it was wacky. The snapshot included new blocks like a box of infinite blocks or the swaggiest stairs ever. There was a cursor block that flickered green every so often, and then there was a funky portal that would teleport people to a random dimension. There were also a ton of fake dimensions that really made the snapshot look broken and insane, but one of them was a dimension called Under Construction, and it teased an upcoming feature, Custom Worlds. In all this chaos, Mojang used the joke to tease custom world generation, which eventually came in an update. But things get more meta when we go to the creeper Easter egg. Ambient sound 14 in Minecraft is like any other piece of audio in the game, except for one huge secret. If you put sound 14 into a spectrograph, then you'll be given a pleasant surprise. The audio actually forms the image of a creeper's face, which is an amazing Easter egg, and not many people would have seen this one from playing the game. This Easter egg was simply designed just for those who would go looking for it. And finally, coming in at our number Number one spot we have homages to all the developers, which is Zombie Pigman, Guardian, and the Armor Stand. There are a ton of homages in Minecraft to real people, especially people who worked on the game over the years. For starters, there's an Easter egg with the Zombie Pigman. Originally, you could view the textures from the mob and actually view some hidden text on it. It said thanks to Zephobia and was written by Notch to thank the person who made the texture for Zombie Pigman. And this is actually a reoccurring theme too. If you looked in the texture files for both the Guardian and Elder Guardians, you'd be able to see the equivalent of like a digital signature. It was an unused area that simply said Jeb, who we all know is the guy who made them. And then finally, you could look in the textures for something else. But this time, it's not hidden in a mob. Weirdly, you were able to find this Easter egg in the files for the armor stands. If you look in the bottom right of the texture file, you can find the word Sarge or Surge, who is of course the same developer that added armor stands to the game. A lot of these are gone now after texture updates, but they were still awesome little ways for the team to get credit for their work. But thanks so much for watching. This has been Tommy and keep it here on T5G.